Hey, what's going on, guys? DJ Mad, I'm AD. Uh, welcome to uh, my new video. I'm going to be creating a track from scratch. Like you could tell, I already have a, a session open over here in Cubase 7.5. And I have a template that I created uh, with things that I always use. Uh, right now, I have a, a few uh, effects sends uh, with a one, two, three three reverbs, one, two, three delays, a doubler, and a kick effect. Uh, I will explain that later on. Then I have a, a few group sends where I send my bass, my kick, my drums, leads, effects, and then I grab all of these and send them to all, and then from all it will go to the main master, which in the mixer, it looks like this. Right now I'm hiding the, the effects because I'm trying to use the real estate. I got a double screen but um, I'm only using one screen for the sake of the video. So today I'm going to be working on a tech house. Oh, I'm also using um, a, uh, what you call this, an RME 800. And I got a DigiCheck uh, total, total, what is it? Total, total analyzer or whatever, however you pronounce it, I don't know. But it looks like this. It's pretty amazing. And um, I will show you later on how I use that. So today... I'm going to be doing, a, like I said, a, a tech house. I'm going to be doing a tech house track. And uh, I got the media bay open. And like you could tell, I got a lot of Vengeance samples. Um, I really don't like using Vengeance samples the way people usually do it. I just like, um, I, I like to get inspired and, and, you know, sample a couple of the stuff, which I think that's the way it should be used. So... I've already, you know, was looking around and I and I was fooling around and I found this loop right here. So it kind of gave me an idea of something. I don't know exactly what it is, but I'm going to put this on beat and I'm going to drop this in real quick. Just to my there you go. Move this out the way to my second screen. And I am going to dive right in there so I'm gonna loop this together zoom in and I'm gonna see what I come up with real quick so let's see press the one okay I'm gonna loop it right there that's all I need so I create a simple simple groove let's see what comes up Turn on the metro dome so I could see what's going on. Feel what's going on. Try to stretch this and see what, what, it, what it sounds like. The transpose down this. Sounds kind of cool. Try 
trying to get rid of the, the clicks in the beginning of the, of the samples. It's very important so you, you won't be having that crazy sound. Alright, so I'm gonna mess around with, with that a little bit. Let's just fill in this, uh... Ah, let me just delete this real quick. I'm gonna double this up. I'm going to bounce in place, so I create a loop, there you go, very cool, so that's what I got going on, as of right now, now I will be, I want to add like a simple groove, so I want to go into my mixer, this sample right here, and I am going to add a volume shaper. I'm just gonna add a, a simple kick. I got this plugin by uh, Sonic Academy. It's called Kick. Very cheap plugin. I think I think it's awesome. Um, uh, it's one of my favorite plugins right now as far as kicks. I also got the Metrum by Vengeance, but I find this one to be just faster and and simpler to use. So that's why I, I always see myself just using this one. So we're doing uh, like a minimal tech house type of thing. So let's go to the the house stuff. Alright, so we're gonna put that in there. I know it's off key or whatever. Again, I'm trying to find a groove right now, so I'm just adding stuff in. Quantize. want to change that into a uh, this because battery is a bit sluggish so I'm really liking how, how this thing is working for me so let's go into the media bay back into vengeance I'm gonna go into minimal they got some really cool claps in here Just started messing around with these bangs so I found a, a whole bunch of really cool claps if I could just find them real quick claps and snares there you go Loop off. Like that. So I can just grab this and drag it. So let's drag this real quick. Right here. Let's look for a couple more claps. Okay, that sounds pretty cool. So we could do like a stereo imaging type of thing. That sounds kind of cool too. Another one for the stereo imaging. Oh, perfect. I think we got enough right here. Let's take that out the way. I got a Axion 49 keyboard MIDI controller, so I'm gonna be tricky with that. So I'm just gonna layer everything together. I believe it's going on. Oh no, it's going down. Like you can tell, it's triggering everything. Super loud though, gotta bring that down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a, I'm trying to give it like, like a stereo feel. So. I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep these two in 
middle. This one, I'm gonna pan it to the left. This one to the right. This one to the left. You can already hear it. I don't know if you if you're watching this on your phone or or if you got headphones on. But if you if you got some headphones on, you could definitely be able to see or and feel the 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 width of what's going on right there. I think it sounds really really cool. Definitely want to compress that. So what I'm gonna do. I'm going to open the editor. I'm gonna open this really cool plugin called Equality. Oh, not this one. Ah, let's use this one. Red line equalizer is pretty cool. Okay. The cutoff on this is, is just amazing. Check it out. Very cool plugin. Love it. And I'm gonna add a compressor to this. Let's go for a Steinberg uh, regular compressor, yeah? Uh, vintage. Let's go for the vintage. I actually like the default. I like the way the default sounds right there. Sounds kinda kinda cool. Uh, let's, let's call that claps. Go back to the arrangement window. Oops, close that MIDI right there. There you go. So if you hold shift and enter, it will change the name of the region, by the way. Learned that from a tutorial that I watched the other day. So let's duplicate. Oops, I hit uh, remove. My Undo that. And let's duplicate. I want to use another instance of a uh, groove agent. I want to use some hi hats. And I'm gonna make them yellow because hi hats in the, in the, in the EQ, they're, you know, that's the, the spectrum of the EQ is yellow. So at least I, I like to think so. So open up open this thing up. And. I, type, I have a whole bunch of stuff that I already created my samples and I got one right here we got some cool hi-hats
the way that sounds. Sounds pretty cool. It's percussion right here, so let's put this over here. So like you can see, I, you know, the bottom end is red. Uh, orange or whatever, the percussions, and the hi-hats, yellow. Alright, so we are right there for now. So now let's add... I got an instance of Massive right there, that's from my, from my preset, but I want to change that into Atmosphere. Alright. So, I like the sound, this is just the preset, the original preset that comes to Atmosphere is amazing. Crazy, I love it, I love it. It's the texture.
far we got something. Duplicate that. Mix. 
mixer. Let's close this um, effects. There you go. I want to copy volume shaper. Okay. Sounds like we got a cool groove already. Okay, that sounds that sounds kind of cool right there. So we have 27 minutes and we we got a groove. It's kind of cool. It sounds funky now. One thing that I that you know from the years of experience that I have, I'm not saying that I'm like the best producer on the planet, but I do know that I need to bring things down. I need to bring the volume down so that way. I can, I can have some headroom for the mix. Okay. Let's bring. I want to add some reverb to that. Let's see what it sounds like. feel like it's missing a groove on top of a groove so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back to this vengeance sounds oh, I'm already there I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to uh Right there sounds kind of kind of cool. So I'm gonna see what I can pull up out of this. Again, drag this.
volume down on that. Take the media bay out the way. Okay, we need some uh, more space. Thing that I'm not too happy right now the 7.5 update uh, the Cubase they took off the the grid lines over here which they're supposed to be putting it back in and on, on the new update is coming up pretty soon but I can't wait for them to do that because it's really getting on my nerves okay so what we got going on here volume shaper and I know that you can you know side chain on Cubase and stuff but you know what I find it I find it faster to use the the volume shaper. I, I feel that the, the side chaining on Cubase they, they need some improvements. Too many steps to, to, to side chain on Cubase.
settle, yeah. I'm too happy with that loop. something. I don't know what it is. So let's see what I can find here. Hmm, Michael Jackson. That's funky. Okay, not much going on in there. Let's, let's, what is that, minimal house? Let's go into the house. We got some cool loops over here. We we'll have to say Vengeance, they, they do their thing. Very cool stuff. So I'm looking for loops. Oh, that's, uh, uh, let's see what I can find here. Oh, that's, that's a, these are single. I don't even know why they will put it in a, in a, in a house loops. If they're not, they're only one shots. All right. Beats loops, 128. Fills. Oof, that sounds funky. That sounds funky right there. So let's bring that in. See what that sounds. Oh, undo that. Hit this button right there so it could beat. Beat. Sorry that my mic keeps cutting out, but I'm, you know, I'm. I'm routing the mic through the software, so sometimes when you drop stuff in Cubase, you know, it kind of like cuts off real quick, which I think they should fix that too. No bueno. So let's see what this sounds like. Ooh, that's a funky, funky groove. Again, side chain. Love it. So I feel that that I got a very dope groove right about now. I'm very happy. I'm very happy with what's going on here. Let's duplicate this. Right there. Blue 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 blue. Blue 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 blue. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know. 
Stop it. I don't have to say it. I know I hear it. Something's wrong. Gotta tighten this up and I see it right there. Is it? Tighten that up right there. It's a good thing about working with audio files that you can actually see where they land and you can make thing, things tighter and so on and so on. Yeah, I producers out there, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Again, this is my, my first uh, producer video, so please don't get bored. Oh my God, what's going on here? Okay, too much. No, there we go. Beats. I'm going to go bang. I know I'm a weirdo. All right, so it should be good. There you go. Bounce that in place. Now I got a full loop. Some of the uh, some of that low frequency, we don't need it. Let's listen. This sounds pretty cool. Some colors. Call this perk loop. safe yet look at that it would be funny if it would crash right so let's call this poquito para celebrar and i'll explain to you why in a second So now that I have the groove, I feel like, you know, the type of tracks, they're, they're more about, you know, about a groove. It's not really about the big synths, like EDM or whatever. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. So I want to add a voice sample. And in this case, I'm going to use my own voice. So, mono. Actually, I don't even need to do this because I already have a track that I'm using for the mic, so I could use that. So, the reason why I call this Coquito Para Celebrar, because uh, I didn't really have a Christmas this year, and uh, I was watching on Instagram, and everybody, uh, you know, all the Puerto Ricans and Dominicans and whatever, and all the Spanish people, they got this drink called Coquito, which is like a very popular drink that they, they you know, Latin people do, whatever, and they were all celebrating, whatever, and I wish I had some, so I decided to do a track about it. So, uh, here we go, I'm gonna lay down a little vocal. It's gonna be in Spanish. And uh, let's see what happens. Oh, yeah. Tráeme un coquito para celebrar. Para celebrar. Yo quiero un coquito para celebrar. Para celebrar. Para celebrar. Coquito para celebrar. All right, I know, I know you. Somebody's laughing out there. I'm bugging out right now, so I'm gonna drag this down here because need a brand new track. There we go. It cut off again because it was creating a brand new track, so I don't need to monitor that track. Uh, sample. Call this vocal sample. Oops. Jeez. Forty-five minutes and forty-one seconds into this video. And I don't know, I always like to color my vocals pinkish, whatever. I don't know, it's kind of gayish, but I don't care. Uh, anyway, you know, nothing against gay people. Got a lot of gay friends out there. Not like that. 
But anyway, let's keep going. Let's listen to what this sounds like. Oh yeah. Tráeme un poquito para celebrar. We're gonna bring the octave down on that one. Para celebrar. Take it down here. Yo quiero un poquito para celebrar. Para celebrar. Ah, three maybe. Para celebrar. Four. Poquito para celebrar. Five. Oye. Sounds kind of cool. Traeme un poquito para celebrar. The timing on that one is a Traeme un poquito para celebrar. Has to be changed. So let's go in there. I'm gonna put a mark here and a mark here so I won't mess with the ones before. And. Traeme un poquito. Has to be on the clap right there. Clap. Traeme un poquito para. This one should be. Traeme un poquito para celebrar. 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 This. Traeme un poquito para celebrar. Yeah, there you go. Traeme un poquito para celebrar. That sounds cool. Para celebrar. Para celebrar. It has to be fixed a little bit too. Uh, right there. Para celebrar. Para celebrar. the clap. Uh, right there. Para celebrar. Para celebrar. This one's the one. Para celebrar. Sounds cool. Yo quiero un poquito para celebrar. Yo quiero un poquito para celebrar. Yo quiero un poquito para celebrar. Make sure I didn't mess with this one. Celebrar. Oh, that's cool. This has to be on the clap. This part has to be on the one too. Timing on this one. This has to be on the one. Para celebrar. Para celebrar. Para celebrar. Has to be the same thing. This one, the one. Oops. Uh, please. Cube seven point five point something. Fix this thing. Para celebrar. Para celebrar. Para celebrar. Para celebrar. Okay. Something. I need. I think the timing needs to be a little bit. Para celebrar. Are we here? Para celebrar. No. Are we here? Para celebrar. Para celebrar. I like that kind of off feel type of. Para celebrar. Poquito para celebrar. Oh, last one. Almost missed it. Poquito para celebrar. Right there. Poquito para. And the one. Poquito para celebrar. Okay, that sounds kind of cool. Okay. Oh yeah. Very funky. There's some delay on it. Sidechain, the reverb. So let's open up the reverb channels. I need to see them. Para celebrar. 
para celebrar. Para celebrar. Like I want to say chain. Un poquito para celebrar. The vocal. Oye. Tráeme un poquito para celebrar. Okay, it's right here. We gotta side chain this. So yes, I know how to side chain on Cubase, but I just feel that it takes a little para bit it's too many steps. So you hit side chain here, turn this off. I know I'm gonna run around here, blah blah blah. Para celebrar. And that's, I think that sounds about right. Para celebrar. So that's, para celebrar. that's send the signal. Send the signal. Oh yeah. There you go. So what it's doing basically, uh, I'm side chaining the, the the reverb with the vocal. So so when it when it when it speaks, um, the signal of the vocal, it's diminishing the sound of the reverb. And then when it goes away, the reverb comes right in. So it's kind of like again like a side chain thing, but we're using it in a different method. I know a lot of guys do it like this. I've actually learned learned this by watching a couple of tutorials, and I think it's really cool. Uh, some guys use it and they don't actually use it right. Uh, the method is very, very well known out there. But just, you know, be careful how you use it. That's what I got to say. Oh, yeah. Try me poquito para celebrar. All right. Sounds cool. Para celebrar. Yo quiero un poquito para celebrar. I said, how did I got that? What I wanted... Right, let's turn off this... Uh, this effects channel, because I need that real estate. Oh, yeah. I do have two screens, you know, if I would have... Uh, but, I'm, you know, for the sake of the video, I'm, I'm doing it like this. Actually, let's turn this off right here. Bang, now I got more real estate. So, yeah, for the sake of the video, I'm only using one screen, so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. So, now... I, you know, I kind of got almost got all the elements for the for the song. So let's see. I, I want to find a play a spot you know, on the vocal where I could like loop. That looks kind of cool right there on that one thing. Bang, 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 bang. Okay, that's definitely a okay. celebration. I need to bring that down. Maybe. No. I'm gonna need to go on very audio. And fix that. So let's go to very audio right here. Turn on the pitch warping thing, whatever you call that stuff. Celebrar. Oops, what happened there? Oh man, what the crap happened here? Celebrar. Things just went haywire on me. Celebrar. Para celebrar. Alrighty. So let's just see what happened here. Reset pitch. Para celebrar. Weird. Very, very weird, Cubase. What the crap did you just do to me? Let's bring it down 12, see what happens. Para celebrar. Ah. Yo quiero un poquito para celebrar. Not cool. For those of you that use Cubase, I'm pretty sure you're asking yourself right now, what the crap just happened? Because that was not cool. Para celebrar. Yo quiero un poquito para celebrar. All right, so I'm gonna go to the media bay. I mean, not the media bay. The the the, the audio pool and open that file again. I need to see what's going on. Let's bring it in right here. See, see what that file sounds like because I just see this file just went haywire on me. Para celebrar. Yo quiero un coquito para celebrar.
All right, so let's just get rid of that and go over here. Para celebrar. Bring this down six like I had it before. Para celebrar. All right, I'm about to like really start cursing at Cubase. Para celebrar. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh lord. What happened? What's going on? Somebody, you know, I need somebody to comment and let me know what just happened there and how to fix that, how to go back because Vary Audio just really completely destroyed my file right now. I don't know what just happened there. Uh, if I go to Vary Audio, let's say, okay, let's look for the picture. Again. Para celebrar. It's like, I didn't do that. Why did it do that? Reset pitch para celebrar. Very weird. <sighs> Talk about something pissing you off. You know, I think I'm just going to re record that part because it's just pissing me off. So, but I just like it so much the way it sounded. Oh my God. Pissing me off. Pissing me off. Oops. It's just. Oh yeah. Check if it's an active higher here, which I didn't do that. I did not do that. That makes no sense. Turn up all the words. Yo quiero un poquito para celebrar. Ah, so let's use that voice for now, man. I guess. Cubase is really being a, a pain in the a-hole right now. Yo quiero un poquito para celebrar. Para celebrar. Okay, so let's see what happens if I... Uh, if I bounce it in place. Yo quiero un poquito para celebrar. Para celebrar. Okay, so I kind of that kind of fixed it a little bit. Oh, yeah. para celebrar. Para celebrar. Doesn't sound quite the same as before. Which I'm not too happy. But it's, 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 it got the it got the sound. It's not on key though. But it got the it got the vibe though. Oops, not the right one. Okay, that sounds funky. Just double 
click on it. Like you have to do what I just did right now, which is whatever. Bring it down. Like you can see, automation is already beginning. So you see it up. Automation down. Boom. You get the point. So let's close that. Bring it back up here. Bring it down right here. Oops. It's too loud, obviously. hits and stuff like that so it was going play the track as we go along with it. that sounds kind of cool right there let's put that in there Okay, I'm not going with that. A long rise. You dirty minded bastard, you. You dirty minded bastard, you. Where am I going? Okay, house tools. And I'm going to my name, DJ Mad. Just in case you guys didn't know what my name was. And I go to effects. Go to rise. And I, no, no, not that one. Right here. VFX. Rise. And I got one right here that I use a lot. This one, bam, 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 bam. Okay. Of course, let's bring this thing in because I don't want it to be to be blasting super hard. Bring it in. And again, side chain it with the volume shaper. Cut off some low end on that. 200 sounds good. Ah, 264, that sounds good. And let's cut off this high end right here. Sounds pretty cool. Again, green. And let's bring a hit. I need to have like something that, you know. That's nice and shiny. Bring that in. Is it in there? Uh, no, it's an effect, so I'm gonna make it green. And let's see what that sounds like. Move this uh, media bay out the way. Spectre. Whatever. Woo! Loud! There you go, there That sounds super, super funky. I'm very happy. One hour and six minutes and two seconds, three, four, five, I don't know, whatever. 
point is that I'm working on this thing right here for about an hour. And this is the groove that we got. And I know some of you are going to say, oh, I could have made that groove in 25 minutes. That's very simple, whatever. But I'm pretty sure if you watch the whole video so far, you will see that, you know, it's not that simple. It's just about finding that sound and, and, and do that groove, you know. Uh, this is not... This is not EDM, nothing against EDM, but this is not EDM. I, you know, I also produce EDM, which I will be posting a couple of videos about that. But uh, the difference between EDM and house music, kind of like tech house, is that, um, what my personal opinion is that, you know, it's all about the bass, it's all about the groove, it's all about the feeling. You know, like for example, when you hear EDM records, they, you know, the bass is always the same thing, boom, boom, boom. You know, and and um, and tech house, they have a groove that boom, 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 boom. You know, the bass takes you to a different place. It's not so high end. I mean, I personally can't take EDM, you know, for more than probably like an hour and a half until my ears are bleeding. But this thing right here, like tech house and like more like bottom end, bottom heavy type of tracks. I could take it for a very long time as long as the as long as the uh the nightclub or wherever the place you're at, you know, they have a, a good system. So if you if you don't agree with me, you can comment them down below or whatever. But um, it's just my thoughts. I'm not saying that they're real or whatever. They're real in my mind. So what I'm gonna do now, because I really really like what's going on here, and these type of tracks is this I call them zombie tracks. Zombie tracks, zombie, 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 whatever I will pronounce that Z, zombie, zombie tracks. Um, they, you know, they're just about it's like the same thing over and over and over, you know. So it, 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 it's just uh, a lot of space for the DJ to do what they gotta do and, and all that. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put this into a folder. Oh, that's a new folder right there. Call it beats. Call it beat. Oops, mother, you mother. I'll do set name. There you go. Because I, I held down shift, and when I when you hold down shift, it just changes everything. So, beat. There you go. Much better. So now I only name this one instead of the whole rename everything else, which I do not want. So now what I, what I'm gonna do here? I'm gonna start arranging it a little bit. So let's do this. Bang, bang, bang. And let's put this. I'm 17, bar 17, so it could be a little more, it would be easier for me to edit. So, I'm going to start with that vocal, but it's only going to start with that right there. And I'm going to do it again right here. And I think I'm going to duplicate the the bass. First of all, let's open this plug-in real quick, because I feel like, it, it, no, no, not, not the bass, the, the kick. It's like in a little more, like a little uh, top kick on it. All right, sounds much better. So the reason why I added a little, a little bit of a top is because I'm going to duplicate this. This is for arrangement purposes. I'm going to delete the bottom one. So now I got two lanes. Let's make this loop a little bit longer. Um, gluing these things up. Okay, so it could be a little easier because you know once you zoom out, it's all these re little regions they become just annoying. So on the first sixteen or eight or whatever that is, I'm going to bring this down and I'm going to filter. I'm going to take out some bass on 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 the second track. <laughs> So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm trying to create a, like a little intro. So let's take off the bass. Let's uh, filter that sample. Right, so 
we're gonna look for that right now. And I think it was in the vengeance folder on the house. I think it was house one. It was a really cool fill. Which I really don't know which one it was. Well, it was right next to the minimal folder. So I believe it was this one. There you go. So. Very nice, perfect. So I'm gonna drag that in there. It's kind of like it's asking for it. It's kind of like it's asking for it. So. I like that. Although it didn't sound like that before, but I guess it's kind of like time stretched it. And, you know, sometimes things happen by mistake, and this thing kind of like works for me. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna play with it. Yeah, I like it. I like it very, very much. Very, very much. Need to cut this off a little bit, cause. Oh, come on, man. What you doing? There you go. Cut this effect off too. And the sample is off, I know, I can hear it. So let's put it on beat. Where is it on... There you go. So this is supposed to be... Come on, audio warp. Right there. This one's supposed to be right here. It's supposed to be right on the one. That sounds amazing. I love it. I don't want that sample there because of, because the delay is it's it's taken away from the feeling of that of that roll. So I'm gonna bring it right there. So. Like the way that sounds right there. So this is the intro so far. Definitely do not need that right there. So let's take out that OJ from the beginning. And back to coloring. That fill has to be colored. Uh, bring it over here. Color fill roll. Move this over. shaker or something so I'm gonna duplicate this right here there you go so I duplicated the hi-hat thing because I'm, I, want, I want I want to use another instance of a uh, groove agent open groove agent and I want to go to the media media bay let's let's initialize this thing select all and reset all pads Okay, so now let's go here and let's look for some symbols. All right, so open hats maybe. No, right. Go for the See what that sounds like. 
Where are you? Find you. Sounds like a cool groove right there, so we're gonna do, we're gonna live with that. That's enough. That's enough right there, so we could just uh, quantize and come on, man. There you go, much better. So we could just quant zoom in here, man. You know, one while. Quantize, shorten that loop, call it symbol, symbol, I think that's what you spell it, I don't know. So we call the symbol and then we're going to duplicate that. Okay, I don't know what happened there. Oh, because this thing right here, we need it to be... There you go. Now it's going to quantize a little better. Quantize, 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 quantize. Let's do a cutoff at 250. Let's bring this down over here. We don't need that. Can't even tell the difference. Not need this volume shaper, so we can take that off. We need this. EQ. We do not need that EQ right there. Look at all that headroom that I got, and it sounds amazing already. So now it's kind of like a fill right there, so we're gonna bring this uh, this thing back. But we're not gonna use the whole thing. We're just gonna use. Like a trip, little, little, you know. Just that part. Very nice. Very nice. I like it very good, very nice. How this sounds. Now this is the break. That would have been nice if I would have done loop that, right? There you go. We're gonna filter this. Yeah, we gotta filter that. So, open automation track. Show it. Show it to me. Show it to me. Sounds like this. Let's bring that up a little bit in that sample. Sounds really cool so far. Let's bring that. Let's take that kick out so that way it could, the drop could be a little more, you know, 
cooler or something, more space. <laughs> Take that out. This has to this come in. Right there, sounds better. I think it will sound better there. See what it sounds like in the bass. Alright, so we're gonna automate the bass. fill that I had in the back over there somewhere right here so that's what we're gonna come back to the groove again we're doing pretty good an hour and 22 minutes and I am already three minutes into the track not bad not bad that's one thing about doing this for so long that you know whatever I start like I always make something out of it it doesn't ma it doesn't matter like how it feels in the beginning or whatever. I remember when I first started producing, it was it's like I would do a whole bunch of sessions and then I would not go back to them because I you know it's, I I wouldn't finish them because I would just lose the groove or whatever. But now it's just I just know that if I'm going to produce something and when I start something cool is is going to end up what well, at least in, you know in my ears is going to sound cool uh, and and I just hope that it sounds cool in your ears. I mean if you if you're still watching. After an hour and 23 minutes, that just means that, that you're liking what you're hearing. So, so that's, that's pretty cool, I think. So I'm going to... I want the OJ to just come right in right here. I want to take this one out because remember, I just want that space for that drop. But I mean, for that fill. Take that out because there's nothing there. And let's see what I I think it should, this should be uh, just off right there. We should have like a... Where the bass comes into. Love it. So there you have it. Um, I'm, I'm an hour and 25 minutes into the video. Uh, I don't know if this is, uh, you know, this is the first time I've done this. And I don't know if YouTube is going to allow me to do the whole video or, or I'm going to have to break it into into pieces. So hopefully, hopefully I'll be able, to be able to update the whole video, which I've seen videos as long as three hours or whatever. So I am going to start sending stuff to 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 bus tracks start buzzing stuff okay this is read so i'm gonna grab all all the percussion including the hi-hats I, I guess that's percussion right uh, i don't know what i'm saying and i'm gonna send it to my already made uh drums buzz buzz okay so so I can just hear everything right there. So now there's a this is plugin. I always like I said this was a template that I that I just have because I always kind of like you know use certain plugins. This right here by Voxango. I don't even know if that's the way you pronounce it. But the point is uh, Voxango, Voxango Drum Former. I'm not pronouncing that part. I use this called Mix Glue. 
for the percussion and I think it's, it gives it a really cool sound so check it out <laughs> It, it, it does what it says it does. It, it glues things up. I mean, you can tighten it up a little bit. So now I'm going to grab the kick and the bass, like all the low end stuff, and I'm going to send it to um, to uh, one of these. I don't know if I'm going to send it to, to bass or kick. I'm going to send, send them all to just the kick because I don't need to have them separated in the, at this time. So they're all going to come right here. <laughs> So now, yes, I buy plugins. Yes, I do. So don't don't even go there. Uh, Fab filter, which I love. Fab filter. Um, that's a preset that I already have. What I'm doing is I'm on the mid side. I'm cutting off the mid side, low end on this because, um, like you already know, mono. I mean, I'm sorry. You already know, bass needs to be mono or at least um, it just sounds more. It sounds bigger and more. The, the track has more body when you just. You know, do the cutoff, so it will sound like this. Oh, let me just solo this. There you have it. So I'm making, like, any sound that comes through here, I'm cutting off the, uh, the mid-side uh, low end. Because we don't need it. We, you know, we don't need that in the mid side, so it could sound muddy and stuff like that. Clean the mix a little bit. As a matter of fact, we don't need none of this either. about this is that, is, is that it already sounds so big like it, it, uh, the the stereo feel of it it just sounds humongous and 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 one of the reasons why it sounds huge is you know I have a lot of reverb going on um, again remember I, I turned my reverb channels I'm hiding them right now because I need the real estate but see, I have a lot of effects already there and with a lot of reverbs and um, on the snares, uh, just to recap. Just right here, the snare, I'm using like like four snares or something like that. And I'm, and what I'm doing is I'm, I'm panning. You can tell uh, this one's panned to the left, this one's panned to the right, panned to the left, this one's in the middle, this one's in the middle. So don't don't be afraid to uh that sounds kinda cool. Don't be afraid to stack snares and just you know, if you want this your snare to just be super wide, um just open them up. You know, add a whole bunch of different ones with different textures. Don't add the same one and 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 ex and you know, pan it to the left or to the right and expect for it to become huge. Unless you could you could detune it, you know, go to the fine tune right here, maybe like bring the percentage down on the if it's the same sound, so that way it can sound like it's a different snare. But I, I personally just like using different snares and claps and stuff like that, just so so we could just sound bigger and have more texture. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, please keep in mind that I am mixing and doing all this with my headphones. Um, I actually, in my, in my studio, I have the, the KRK 10 rock port. Um, is that what they call? Um, rocket. Oh, the Rocket 10s. I'm sorry. The KRK Rocket 10s. And but right now I'm, I'm I am doing this video with my headphones with uh my favorite headphones uh, which are the DT880 Pro. They're like three hundred and something bucks, but believe me, they're worth it. They're very comfortable. Um, they're not gonna make your your ears feel like they're in a, in a freaking tunnel and you just like like oh my god, I want to get out of here. So so you know, look into those. Uh, if you hear some mixing. The you know maybe if it's too much bass or whatever again I'm going on the headphones I'm not listening I'm, I'm not referencing so but I think as of right now uh, uh, in the process of pr production and mixing I think it sounds very very nice and like you could tell like um, you know I'm, I'm I love mixing as I produce because the groove you know the mix t to me personally I feel that. You know, you can have the best track in a in a freaking planet. If you don't have a, a perfect uh, mix, then you have issues. So there you have it, man. Just to DJ Mad M A D working on a brand new track. This one is called Coquito para Celebrar, and of course, this will be this will be released on my label, which will be which will be Digital Wax. There's some beatport track stores iTunes, Amazon, and all that stuff. So look out for it very soon. I, I will be posting like a note or something on, the, on this video when it's going to be released. So if you guys like it, thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm going to finish this track. I know I'm in an hour and 33 minutes into it. So I think it's time for me to just uh, to call it quits on, on it. So please subscribe if you like the video. If you got some questions about how I did whatever. Uh, I personally don't think I did any, I did any major tricks that you guys wouldn't know. People that will be that will be interested about these type of videos, but um, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, the process of what I do. How do, how do I find a groove and stuff like that? I personally feel that Cubase doesn't have a lot of videos out there of, of producers just talking and, and, and explaining and, and just going through the motion of of doing videos. So that's why I decided to do this stuff. Um, and also, you know, if you guys want to check out my other live videos, um, I, I, I'm a DJ, but I am a, a DJ all around. I'm an open format DJ. I love my house music. I love my tech house, my electro, progressive and other stuff. But I, um, I also love hip hop and mashups. I, I just believe that the best DJ in the world is a DJ that plays all types of music, not just one genre. My personal opinion. And if you feel a certain way about that. Leave a couple of comments below, and I really appreciate it. Please leave a like, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel. We'll extremely appreciate it if you do. DJ Mad MAD signing off, and thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to let the track play for what I got right now, and, um, and that's it, man. Thank you so much. DJ Mad signing off.